the the thing that here's the non-answer to that question um the sort of fantasy that i've always had about the ancient world is with everything that we lost you know we obviously don't know what there was and the sort of assumption is that what's carried forward are these examples of some of the finest work of the time because why wouldn't it be um but then a part of me thinks like what if we're reading you know the the ancient world like mass market you know like the da vinci code like something that was massively popular but probably would not necessarily win like the nobel prize for literature or something like that um so that's always something that that i've been uh always wondering about i don't know how seriously i wonder about it but i definitely think it's possible um and so you know in that in that case people in 4016 are gonna be reading kim kardashian's book of selfies right that's um i guess reading would not necessarily be the word because it's just pictures but you, you know, they will yes Right, you'll have the 4016 equivalent of the Met showing treasures of the Kardashian empire. Um, I don't know, I, they're, well, oh God, this is going down such a, now there's you know, so many different ways of, of recording information that I also wonder, you know, maybe it's like too much will get saved and what, get surfaced of all of that you know it might not be the we have so little let's you know really dive into all of it and maybe it will become this thing where like the library of congress you know saves a huge trove of information that's unearthed and deciphered and it's four million books or something like that and you know how how do they figure that out um, I don't know. There, there are books that I hope will, will, you know, be able to carry through some, somehow. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. It's hard to imagine something that's not so rooted in, in, specifics of a culture that it will necessarily have that level of accessibility to it but of course I say that and it's exactly the same thing as me not really being able to empathize with the plight of you know a, a warrior going off to fight the Trojans so you know there are some of the there are some of the classics of literature today that certainly I hope can endure somehow I just always have like this sort of warm feeling towards books like To Kill a Mockingbird and uh, and The Great Gatsby is a book that's just so atmospheric and yes it's of a moment but it sort of allows you to enter into that moment um, in a way that I think those are two really good examples of, of texts that, even though they're so rooted in a world that is of its moment, I think they do such a nice job of, of universalizing the specific um, and giving you a window into that moment that's not your own. Um, and so those are two examples of books that, that I hope that, you know, people could be able to pick up further down the line um, and look at and say to be, you know, in the United States in the, you know, 1900s, uh, what, a, what an experience for us to try to understand. Um, certainly those are not the only ones, but those, those are two that certainly come to mind. Um, 
just because I do think they have that element to them of um, being able to speak to people who don't necessarily possess that experience.